Ocean Quest is an organization built upon the need for coral reef rehabilitation through research, education and direct action. The organization sets standards and benchmark policies that has been accepted in many countries worldwide. Through research Ocean Quest created its own techniques, methodology and material for coral reef rehabilitation. The Ocean Quest education system is a simplified learning system that allows the public to take part in coral rehabilitation. By engaging the community in the effort Ocean Quest can achieve its goal in broad-scale coral rehabilitation. Advocacy and awareness are also integrated in the education system. The most visible role of Ocean Quest in coral conservation is its ability to take direct action without delay. This is achieved through funding that is directly generated from the Ocean Quest education. All locations where Ocean Quest existed must continue to maintain and expand training of visitors and local communities. This demands an ever-progressing research and education which is directly for the cause of fulfilling environmental conservation and the well-being of the local community around the area. Reaching measurable achievement means Ocean Quest must have high degree of knowledge and expertise in development of its scientific, social, educational and environment. These can only be a reality when Ocean Quest are supported by trainers and researchers who are dedicated and committed to the direction of this organization. The organization's achievements is measured through its accomplishment in broad-scaled coral reef rehabilitation. As an organization Ocean Quest are partners with many leading organizations around the world that is actively involved in marine conservation. These partners supports and help spread the Ocean Quest system to the world. Besides partnerships, Ocean Quest also is founded on a solid strategy based on an ever-expanding approach. Core Values at Ocean Quest Global, our core values is the definition of our conduct as an environmental conservation organization. This is the values we strongly adhere to, and it is our path to follow in every aspect of our engagements. By setting and defining our core values, every action taken by Ocean Quest is defined and deliberate. We have no guesswork. We will not work in uncertainty, and we thrives on set goals and direct action. Here, we define our values in our commitments, our attitude and our protocols, which is the directions we will take in everything we do to achieve a measurable accomplishment. Our commitment our commitment to the marine environment and to the people that are dependent on the ocean. For this reason all action taken to preserve and protect the marine environment as well as our relation with the community must be fully defined. Marine conservation is a responsibility of humanity to preserve and manage the ocean's resources. Therefore, if we truly want to accomplish this goal, we must be accountable and we must be responsible. This commitment includes taking the right step and avoiding our impact to the fragile environment. It means that every step taken to restore and preserve the marine environment must be thoroughly studied, so that we did not create more damage to the ocean in the name of conservation. Ocean Quest also understand the needs and dependency of humanity on the ocean resources. There is no exclusion of the human factor in the conservation of the ocean. For this reason, the human stewardship of the ocean and its capacity to protect this resource are for the benefit of their own future. Conservation is meant for managing our interactions to prevent damage and devastation. attitude. 
Our attitude is driven by the need to be fully neutral and independent in voicing our concern about what is right and what is wrong. This full democratic attitude is necessary to prevent ourselves from becoming part of a conservation society that is abusive. Here is an example. Coral conservation is largely perceived as an act of creating something on the seafloor. Environmental conservation and rehabilitation is never achieved through construction of structures as no man-made structures are habitable to wildlife. Example, people will not want to place broken vehicles and man-made objects in a devastated forest as part of a forest restoration project. The idea of placing junk materials as forest restoration will be perceived as total absurdity. This is simply because those objects are not habitable to the wildlife there. However, the same act of absurdity is freely practiced as part of reef restoration. Junk school buses, trucks, cars, bicycles, broken toilets can all be found on the ocean floor as artificial reefs. There are even those that goes great length of constructing structures on the sea floor. These structures are then used as substrates to grow corals. Corals are also used to decorate junk structures in the name of coral restoration. Corals are living things. They are not ornamental objects that we can simply pluck from the ocean and planted on structures that is totally aliens to them. Over 90% of the practice of creating artificial reefs failed and is left on the sea floor. There is no recovery plans for these structures. Instead, they are left to degrade on the sea floor. Plastic materials like PVC used will degrade, leaching the ocean with toxins such as bisphenol A, BPA, and phthalates. These toxins are known hormone disruptors that can cause health problems in marine organisms and in humans. It imposes serious long-term impact to the environment, but yet it is widely used in coral conservation projects. This actions of using plastic-based artificial structures in ocean conservation is no different from the pollutants we already faced worldwide. Sadly, they can be found in almost every locations where conservation takes place. Ocean Quest considers this practice as abusive conservation. Therefore, our ethical standards rejects the use of artificial reef and man-made structures with absolute effect. By exploring and researching organic ways of coral propagation, we eliminate input of more marine debris. Our measurable accomplishments. The Ocean Quest measurable accomplishments is seen in its acceptance worldwide. Many locations in Southeast Asia, Indian Ocean, and in the Caribbean are now engaging and adopting the use of the Ocean Quest system. This is simply because the system is non-abusive, effective and broad-scaled. Ocean Quest set aside its proprietary to the knowledge to enable this coral conservation system to be universally available. It is the driving force behind the accomplishment. There is one aspect that truly supports the Ocean Quest system that make them successful. This is public trust. People from around the world believe in our system and practice our system. It is a realistic system that is usable by all level of the society for education, research and conservation. The accomplishment is not complete without proven results. This can be seen in all the established locations worldwide. Finally, the Ocean Quest Global Strategy consists of these five arms. Development of newer and more effective technology. Empowerment of the community and encouraging volunteerism. Employing a truly organic approach in coral propagation. Providing training and education on coral restoration worldwide. Providing and maintaining technical support to all locations. Only by this approach that a global scale restoration can take place.